I need to get the trailer over some more. Had I known this was going to be, it just, if that stupid little rail kick wasn't there, then I could make this, no problem, but. Back yeah, that's what I'm going to try. guys good morning it is sunday we're gonna do a little off-road hauling today for a local client good old boy don't even worry about the not for hire sticker like i said we're going off-road back road country stuff getting this machine there ain't no scales it don't matter plus it's sunday so i'm gonna go get a 307 just finished my pre-trip on this thing dressed a couple things on the truck just kind of tinkering with it end up spending two hours doing a pre-trip and address all the tires checked all that stuff on the trailer using the old trailer because we're going off-road i ain't about to take the diamond sea in the narrow area that we're about to head to number one reason why i keep this trailer around very maneuverable and i mean it's just bulk steel it can take a little bit of beating i'll give it that
need to get the trailer over some more had I known this was gonna be it just if that stupid little rail kick wasn't there then I could make this no problem but yeah that's what I'm gonna try you just haul her Keep coming back. Well, in all honesty, it might have been easier just to turn around where I did last time when I came out here, which was an easy spot, but it was just as difficult not having a machine to back me up, trying to go around this bridge over here. Made it happen. Should be able to figure something like that out, but it was tight, boys. Cool. We just got to go across it one more time. 
load the machine up and get the helicopter out of this. It's like a, if you're in a Jeep, this is a fun trail. Wouldn't care, but 50 something feet long, 20,000 pounds worth of crap, not even loaded, kind of annoying. Didn't make it now, we gotta dog it. Yeah, how much I got? Yeah, over a foot. Still got it? Yeah, you got about, about a foot. You're right there, turn. Watch the mirror. Mirror will be good. You got plenty of room on this side, you have to get over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Well, the camera wasn't filming, but damn, that was tight, and I'm a little bit mad that it wasn't filming, but there's a nice swimming hole down there. It's got one more corner. You jump off the bridge here. <laughs> See? Yeah. How deep is it down there? Deep enough to go. All right, now, what the hell? Oh, it's scaring me. Well, it's starting to get a little bit warm on that last one. Let's see. They got these stupid kicker things. How much I got up there? Uh, you got about all you got. You can start straightening it, though. Yeah, you got over a foot now. You might uh, can I move over a little bit? Yeah, you got plenty of room on this side. Well, three feet to that rock. So. Used up all the real estate I would imagine we had for this setup going through there. Blood was just starting to get a little warm. Any longer of a rig you Yeah, no. That really emphasized the fact in reasoning why we brought the smaller trailer today. Yeah. Glad you came along. It's nice to have a spotter out that window over there. Yeah. Well, and honestly, now, I mean, if you were to take this out there empty and, yeah, I mean, bring it back empty, like if you had to go out for like logs or something, like that's gonna <laughs> big and heavy. I'm good. It would it'd be easier on me, I'd say. There's another spot right up here. It's a pretty maneuverable setup, but you know, you get in a spot with a hard objects like a bridge with if those ki if that kicker wasn't there on the edge of that thing be no big deal. yeah it i would have had another That's foot to deal with i imagine you've been in some rocky roads like that yeah try to avoid this kind of stuff but we'll help this guy out port to port as long as we don't break nothing we'll have a good day there's the machines right up around this corner he tracked it all the way out here for us that was just our best option for turning around that was just a little bit bigger. It'd be nice to just back right in. Yeah, I tried to last time. Yeah. It was just, just not quite. Yeah. It was like one of those. If I had to, I could have made it. But. Yeah. yeah. We got a guy on the road stand off. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. You made it this far in the video. Aiming to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year, or even more if we can. So. Analytics are saying quite a few guys are not subscribed. They're watching my videos. So let's up those numbers. Enjoy the video. Jim, you're not driving the machine on this trailer this time. You did too much damage. Right here? Yeah. What did I do? You drove over my bungees. You drove over my yellow. You mangled the shit out of it. Drove over out here. The center of your track went right through here. This thing was all destroyed. See how it's all screwed up?
no power lines out here, right? Jump there. <laughs> but they said he was going to for him. Yeah, they missed out. I was waiting for Jody to get kicked out. He's on probation. Yeah. He could have put the horses in the pasture. Oh, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> I got my speed binders on this trailer. I'd like to prove what he was over today. Give him some dollars for it right now. You see the witness. You've been, what? You've been coveting my excavator. Yeah. You gotta, what am I? You gotta see the way I've got my grapples too. It's not those pelican hooks you got. You got the same grapple. No, I just mounted it better than you. Bull <laughs> butter. You're just jealous. Bull butter. You're just jealous. Design copy and say bull butter. <laughs> uh, buddy, he's gonna get a 310 cat. Like. 22,000 pounds, it's about the same thing. Just, this is for Taylor. Oh, it's a bigger person. Yeah. Yeah, quite a bit bigger. But, uh, you know, could you haul that? Yeah. 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 He's got uh, the same setup. He's got my new trailer, he's got one of those. And uh, 3,500 Dodge, like my other dude. <laughs> right. Okay, you don't need me, I'll see you at home. Yeah. Got this machine? All right, so 307D with steel tracks. Uh, if I remember correctly, I don't have service to quote the specs, but I think it's like a 17,000 pound machine. I'd imagine that's with rubber tracks, so steel probably adds a little bit of weight. But pretty tight machine, 2,000 hours. It's not a bad little, for, it's kind of a random size as far as these excavators go, so it's pretty versatile, it's got good power, and it's still relatively a small machine. But we'll get on out of here. Took out a tree. Back to the more friendly terrain. Saying goodbye to the river. Pretty nice little drive. Uh, I think we made it out of there without breaking anything. We got one tie down that somehow is sticking up in the air. Might have to pull over and fix that. And we got a gal on the quad tailgating us. She backed up a little bit. Like 70. <laughs> is that more points than another guy in a quad? I don't like that. Anytime anybody ever chains down the load that you're hauling, helps you out, always go back and double check it. That, that hook is not set all the way. Oh, it's coming. Because, huh? I was about to say that story of your buddy tying down that dirt bike for you and uh, came loose and broke your window. 
Oh, always check. Yeah. Look good. Man, you hooked that in a weird ass spot. What the hell? They got a nice little clip thing that goes over here, holds this down. I'm saying a new trailer and it ain't nice, but uh, I just put that board there, bouncing down that dirt road. I didn't want to hear those ramps, so made it up here. Get on out of here. One more look see. <laughs> Freaking love this setup. What a little stud. A little hill right here. I'm trying to keep it in third gear in the power band, but we're right at 1200 EGT and uh, 2100 RPM, 2200. That's right at the bottom end of the power. Just try to feather it up through here. Had to slow down through a couple of them corners, but we'll see how this one treats us right here. I don't know if I'll be able to manage this one. Might have to go to second. We'll see. Yep, this is second. Unless I want to roll the truck over. Exhaust brake, throw the engine brake on it too. It, yeah, I think it's about 17,000 pound machine. That's all she weighs. Feels like towing the 12. Just gotta hit the brakes for these sharp corners two, three times going down this hill. This guy's all set up right here. Oh, he's rolling coal or blew a head gasket. One of the two. You can turn that on, bring it down. Yeah, I know. It's steep as shit. You gotta go slow because the corners are tight. There ain't no interstate going up 3,000 feet in the next 10 miles, but steep crap. And then you got bicycle thummies right there. It's easy to. It's easy. This is little kid stuff, no printer wheels. It's easy. Now, this is gonna be the steep stuff. This ain't the bad one, but get an idea. I'm warning you guys. Second gear kind of terrain. I got geo trackers following us. 12%. Even more. 15. Get out and check it on the way out of here. It's probably like 38. Yeah, it should get a little, little steep back there. Bad enough I gotta put the brakes on going down. Tell you that, man. Brake bolts don't mean holding us, even the second gear. This computer come rolling through us? Yeah, just going through. Oh, we're holding the back pretty good. Cat passes us. Who is that? Hey, Jim, it's at the bottom of the hill. Yeah. Just send me the money. Hang around. Yeah. There's ponds all full this time of the year. God damn. One storm filled everybody's pond. Uh, Mother Nature is mighty generous. What's it say? It's, you know, it's a big word, but go ahead. 
It says John Deere right now. No, it says JD. So back in the day, no. well, you were telling me that it was the what, other way what? around. I call them excavator what, what, controls what? versus backhoe controls. C-A-T. Come on now, spell it out. Cunt. <laughs> he, he led me astray with that early conversation. That's a big word. No, you should have run my uh, loader. Oh, your big loader? My big Samsung. I heard you gave that away. Because it, it was a cross between John Deere and Jack. It was a homorphic Why? Because they put the stick on the bottom oh. to lift. Well, you could just hose it? I'm just telling you. You had fun with it. Oh, you know, I was good at it after a few years. Uh, When it's empty that is a heavy freaking trailer a little bit more than four hours I doubt that's gonna rain but I'm gonna go ahead and close this box up the straps get wet everybody think because Tommy for doing his filming job that was uh, an eventful trip but we didn't break anything so it's a good deal well just like that boys chat time about a four hour round trip I uh, even might have bought myself another five-speed 12-valve truck. We'll see if my offer calculates into something they're interested in. The guy's son that I hold the equipment for has got one for sale. But I don't really miss hauling with that old trailer so much. You know, it's kind of neat to go back and realize why I wanted to upgrade to that guy. That thing is such a hoss, but it does have its downfall. It is a little bit bigger having that dovetail. And I do not think... We would have fared well trying to get that in there. The neck's longer, the tail's longer, the axle set back a little bit. It, it's not as maneuverable when it comes into really tight situations like what we did today, but um, I was halfway hoping that I could haul it with a little buddy, but it's almost a full width machine, so it won't fit between the fenders. But I think I would have been a little, little overloaded using the little buddy. It would have been close, so. That's another perfect example of why I didn't sell that Texas Pride trailer. Because I can beat it up and it fits into some of the tighter jobs. Because I would put myself out of work if I had sold that thing today. Or, not necessarily, I still could have used something else. But if I had uh, only this trailer, I just would have had to find a different spot to turn around. And going across that bridge probably wouldn't have been an option. We'll see you guys in the next one we're about to have. Good old hot dogs on the barbecue. They're making tater tots, you know, the good old American fat people food. Good Sunday. It's perfect weather. T-shirt weather. Middle of November. Can't go wrong about it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys knocked out on your Sunday. If you made some money, kind of let me know, but don't let the IRS know how much you made.